What are some guy secrets girls don't know about? Sometimes we use the stream of our pee to try and clean poop stains on the bottom of toilet bowls. I had a girl tell me that my haircut looked nice. I've kept that same haircut for 4 years since then. Edit, hey thanks for my first gold. And silver. Rad. Edit 2, platinum. Thank you so much. You're a legend. Just because we're in the shower for an abnormally long time doesn't mean we're jerking off. Guys like to have long hot showers too you know. It's not that we can't take hints, we are just afraid of looking too far into something. If someone is flirting with me I have the dilemma of is she actually into me or is this just how her personality is? Boners don't automatically mean arousal. That will never be said enough. Edit, I hate this comment simply because it made me miss my 69,420 karma mark. Nice try Buzzfeed. If you want something to happen between us, you gotta meet us halfway. If we're not making a move, we are probably doing our best to not fuck it up. I like hugs. The occasional longer stride to attempt to inconspicuously adjust our balls. We can't move our penis without closing our butthole. Edit, thanks for all the silver and the gold. This is really blowing up. We don't get the hint. Saying I almost broke my neck in the driveway is not the same as asking us to shovel it. In my mind I'm thinking thanks for the heads up, I'll be careful. If it is hot outside, and you see a guy do some wacky dance, they are just unsticking their balls. I'm not staring at you, I'm zoned out thinking about how I'd start a brewery in medieval England whilst my eyes just happened to be facing your direction. Edit, spelling. If our balls are itchy, we don't actually scratch them. Instead we rely on clever little pinches to the nutsack. Guys also like to be walked up to and asked out. As a favor, I worked on the girl's car one time and got pretty dirty. Afterwards, she asked me if I wanted to come inside and take a shower. I told her no because I hadn't brought any clean clothes to put on after the shower. She just kinda giggled. Yeah, us guys aren't exactly too bright when it comes to reading between the lines. We desperately want you to toss us things instead of just handing them to us. The witch's kiss, when your dick touches that oil at bowl while you're taking a dump. Our balls are slightly uncomfortable 30% of the time. Shrinkage. Sometimes we want to not do anything cause our dicks get hard for no reason. It's actually not always so easy to get an erection. Sometimes he's tired, or he's nervous or worried, or he's on meds that make it difficult, antidepressants are notorious for this, or any number of things. The stereotype is that men are always ready to get up and go, but this is far from true. So don't expect it, and don't be offended when his dick doesn't want to play, even if he does. The desire to touch the top of the doorframe is a primal one. I can't understand it, I just do it. Pee shivers. Only weirdos choose to piss in the urinal next to you when there are plenty of open urinals along the wall. Also if we have to use that oilet to piss, we tend to piss on the side of the bowl to make less noise. Our aim isn't bad it's just sometimes a weird spray. Edit, my first gold. Thanks stranger. Adjusting your dick upwards towards your belly button when having a boner in public in order to hide it. Having a boner doesn't always mean you're turned on. When you ask what are we thinking about and we say nothing, we really mean it. Never underestimate a guy's ability to not being thinking about stuff at all times. When people come crying to us, our first inclination is to fix the problem. Since this is, often, not possible, lead with something along the lines of can I vent for a minute? Or anything that signals to us this is just a time for active listening, rather than a problem solving session. Your chances of getting what you want out of us are infinitely higher if you tell us directly. A lot of guys answering right now are on the toilet enjoying some quality time with Reddit. The bathroom is an experience for many men. Thank you for the silver and gold strangers. Compliments will last for weeks, months, even years. Guys are crazy for a simple you're hot or you're really handsome or something with their personality or looks. Edit, gold? I've been on that oil it for 30 minutes but I am actually pooping. Gold edit, thanks for that. Can I trade my coins for hem or cream? We're shit at seeing your signs that you're into us. 
Sometimes we like to be the little spoon. Just because I got pee on the wall, doesn't mean I'm being lazy, it's because it decided to come out a different direction than where the hose was pointed. Edit, just to clarify, I did clean it up. But at 6 in the morning sometimes you miss a spot. We provide a valuable toilet cleaning service which is underappreciated by peeing off any stains that might happen to be clinging onto the inside of the bowl. No matter how you shake and dance, the last two drops go in your pants. If we have a goofy hobby and you take interest in it, even the slightest, we love it. I'm a big gamer and my wife, who also games but not the same ones I play, will often watch what I'm doing, ask about the game, and generally take an interest. Her saying oh, are you looking forward to Anthem, is really cool and I appreciate her interest, it's be so easy for her to pay no attention, and her doing so makes a big difference. We really do think your hair is good. It looked good before and after you got a haircut. If looked good curly and it looked good straight. It looked good when you woke up and when you made it. As long as it's shaped like the hair we gave girls on stick figures when we were 5 years old, we think it looks good. When we want to be alone, it's not that we don't want to be around you. It's that we don't want to be around anyone for a bit. Sometimes we masturbate just to pass the time. It is not sexual at all. It is a bit like making a coffee to pass 10 minutes. How often we fantasize about saving the day from terrorist attack or something. Bunch of snitches in this thread. Guys like to be complimented too. Nothing makes my day more than having someone compliment me about something random like my shoes. Sometimes when we are walking our balls hit our legs. If we tie down anything in the back of a pickup truck or trailer it's physically impossible for us not to stand back and say that's not going anywhere. We feel a great social pressure to be strong, less emotional, carry others, make money. A lot of times we don't know how to and we're scared. But we know we're not supposed to be and we know we're not supposed to ask for help. So we get stressed and angry. Edit, this is not an anti-women comment. Men do it to men. Women do it to men. Institutions do it to men. If you're blaming women for feeling pressure you're part of the problem. Whoa. First gold and platinum ever. Gonna need to learn what to do with that. Our erections don't always mean we're horny. It just goes up sometimes and I'm here like, what is it, boy? You see something? Edit, yo thanks for my first silver. Means a lot to me that I can make you guys laugh. Smile. Edit 2, yo ooh I got a gold. Thanks. We always pull the zipper away from our crotch before zipping up. My wife, GF at the time, once reached over to zip up my pants and I had near heart attack from the instant and real fear that she would zip the tip. We learn to pull the zipper away at a fairly young age because we don't enjoy zipper tracks on our gentleman bits. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more.